Hey y'all, so today's video is going to be showing how I protect and treated my Bichetta on my Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote. So please stay tuned if you're interested. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and joining the fam. I would love to have you here. All right, so let's get into it. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and get your setup correct and proper. So usually I like to grab an old t-shirt, old towel, paper towels, a stand if you have one. I'm just using some porch furniture. And then your cleaning spray that you're gonna be using is actually the Apple Guard. I will have this link below from Amazon. I would advise you to get more than one. This one was completely empty by the time I finished this video. So if you have multiple bags or you wanna do additional coats, I did about two to three coats with this one, then definitely be mindful of that. And once you have everything set up, you're pretty much going to protect the canvas with those shirts or old towels and also the interior of the bag as you spray your sections. You can start wherever you would like. You can start on the front or you can start on the side or on the wristlet. So you see me here taping all of the material down just to make sure I'm not spraying the canvas directly because if you spray the Louis Vuitton canvas directly you're going to damage that portion of the bag so cover as much as you can and go ahead and spray gently throughout and make sure that you're spraying evenly your straps that leather will start to darken as you spray so that will help you determine if you're spraying it evenly or not so you'll see me going through and spraying nice and gently all the way down and then bringing it back. The weather was perfect this day, so I would recommend that you do it either in a, an area that has a lot of sun or in the garage is fine too, but I had the favor of the sun, so these sections did dry fairly quickly. After spraying and letting it dry you do want to remove the t-shirt and make sure that you're wiping the canvas for any of the product that did get on the canvas while you were spraying so I just have a damp paper towel that I'm wiping be careful not to touch the leather part um, with that wet paper towel because that would defeat the purpose of what we're doing today <laughs> and then again you just go back through and repeat that process so it's pretty repetitive um, once you get the hang of it you're just making sure that you touch all of the pieces spray them evenly and let them dry so don't forget the lining of the bag as well the handles the two tassels on the side also make sure that you flip it over and get the opposite side as well Once it dries, I didn't have any issues with the color returning back to its original state. So that was a plus. I've watched a bunch of reviews before I did it myself. I was a little nervous, not gonna lie, but it ended up turning out great. So I don't have any complaints. Now, after I did the tassel, you can see here, I am actually putting my towel in between and spraying all around and just moving that leather left and right to make sure that I'm getting that portion all the way saturated. Make sure you give your bag time to dry before you do flip it on to the other side. So here I'm just kind of letting it sit out and dry and then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and repeat the same steps to the other side. Here 
here I'm just zooming in on the actual canvas. You can see the shiny areas around the piece that was sprayed. That's just the spray that got through the material. So this is a section that I would go in and wipe with a damp paper towel. And then you see on the right, that portion is drying. So that's why it looks kind of blotched. But once it dries, it's even and you don't have to worry about any stains from the actual Apple Guard protector. All right, last but not least, you do want to make sure that you're getting your wristlet as well. All right, y'all, so for the wristlet, I've seen videos where people clean it attached. I'm actually gonna detach it, make it easier. So I've detached the leather. I'm going to lay it down and show you all how I clean it. As you all know, that is the only leather here except the canvas, but this little piece, I'm just gonna clean, spray very, very gently. Um, but I'm mainly concerned about the strap. So we'll go ahead and clean that next. What I'm gonna do is go in and spray this little section here, but also make sure I get that strap nice and even. So I just have it sitting on the paper towel. I'm gonna to spray one side. You see here that I'm wiping the brass material. So make sure that you're wiping that material so that that metal does not um, tarnish. And then you wanna flip it over and repeat on the other side. This part really took no time at all. All right, y'all, that is it for the video. If you did watch it in its entirety, thank you so much. I do appreciate the support. I hope it was helpful. This is the final look of the bag. So as you can see, it has returned to its original color. There is not any staining present on any of the spots that we did spray down. Thanks to the weather, it is completely dry. So I think she's ready to be carried, y'all. I'm so excited. And then this is the wristlet strap. I would 10 out of 10 recommend detaching this. This makes it easier. Why would you keep it attached when this is pretty much the majority of the piece that you need to protect? Right, so without further ado, I will see you guys on my next video. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will talk to y'all on my next one. Bye.